Today I will show you how you can put yourself in a photo with basically any person that you like. It can be a celebrity, your friend, your family member, etc. And to have some kind of interaction with that person like I did here in this photo with Peter McKinnon. So let's roll that intro. Hey guys, it's Nemanja and welcome to another fun episode. As you already probably know, a few weeks ago I did a tutorial on how to put yourself in a photo with basically any person that you like. And I did it with Casey Neistat. But that was a really simple example. I just put myself beside Casey in the same photo and that's it. No interaction, no nothing. But in case you didn't watch that tutorial, here is the link. You can go and check it out because there are some useful tips. Okay, but today I will show you a little bit more complex version, how to put yourself in a photo with any person that you like, but to have some kind of interaction with that person and that's much, much more complex. And for that you will need a friend who will help you to make it possible. So let's meet my friend who helped me to make this tutorial for today. Okay guys, we are here in a park and we need to replicate uh, this photo of Peter McKinnon. So, we just adjusted the lens, it's 16 mm wide angle lens, I hope that Peter used something similar here, so we need to replicate this and we need to match the pose. So this is my friend Peter and he will eat this uh, donuts that is inside, you don't see it, but okay, let's, let's match this pose. Guys, this is so fun, you need to try it for yourself, so... <laughs> let's do one. <laughs> Alright guys, now let's go back to the studio. Alright guys, as you just saw, we had a lot of fun creating that uh, pose that Peter made in his photo and putting myself interacting with my friend, actually with Peter, and that's it. And I matched the perspective, camera angle, focal length, match the lights because lights was really easy to match this time it was cloudy day on peter's photo it was cloudy day today when i made this photo so let's jump straight in photoshop and let me show you how to put everything together okay guys this is the final photo and let me show you how i did this so let's go and open all the layers here so this is where we started with so this is my friend and myself interacting there, I right? taking the donuts from that bag, etc. So what I did first, I just cut out myself out of the photo. So I really nicely matched Peter's pose and the size, etc. So you need to do that several times, trials and errors, etc. until you're satisfied with the pose. Then what I needed to do, I just played with some saturation, just dodged it at burning few things because as you can see here now I'm too bright on this side but when I'm uh, closer to Peter I will be a little bit darker in this case and just play with some curves, colors and that's it. Then I did similar with the Peter, I just darkened this side because I uh, like it much better so it's more believable that our two hats are connected and then I just play with some colors just a little bit and that's it, that's the final photo. And I just merge everything into one layer and play in the camera roll to just a little bit tweak the colors. This is it, this is the final result. So this is really, really easy after you match the pose. And of course the hardest thing here is to match the pose and to match the perspective. By perspective I mean the camera angle and the camera distance from the subject and the focal length of the photo you want to put yourself in it. So what lens is used on what focal length for making the original photo. So for that you need to go through some trials and errors and that's a normal process and even it can be fun or if you're more experienced you will know that based on your experience. Alright guys and here is another photo that we made today just for fun. It's nothing special, it's really easy. Again Peter McKinnon and uh, I'm holding him while he is jumping. It's really simple to create a pose, it's really simple. Okay guys, so I encourage you to do this, to go through this process yourself because it's a lot of fun. Today we had a lot of fun creating uh, this photo manipulation and you will learn a lot of things by doing this. So have fun making your version and uh, if you have any questions regarding to this episode, please let me know down there in the comments below. I will be happy to answer them. 
If you appreciate this episode, if you appreciate this content, press that like button, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Right, guys, have fun and see you in my next fun episode. Bye-bye.